Hi there! I'm a guy with a pineapple puppy and today, I'm ranking all the mini games and playtest in Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Before we start though, remember, my opinion is my opinion and your opinion is different from mine. So be sure to tell me how to rank these in the comments cause I'd love to know. That being said, we've got some games to play. Let's get rolling! Egg Baby! I don't know why I put this one on the list, it does nothing. Balloon Barrel, you press one button and you win 250 points. I don't even think you can lose this game. Balloon Cart, the exact same game but with a nicer cart. And this time, the points you get are random but it's more than Balloon Barrel. It's very simple. Prize King, you hit one button and you might win a prize. Or not. Winning actual prizes is way better than just points though. Ball Pit Tower, the exact same as Prize King. The only reason that this is ahead is because with Prize King, you can win Funtime Chica. But with Ball Pit Tower, you can win Music Man. And Music Man is way better than Funtime Chica. Security Puppet, the first lore mini game. You play as the puppet and if you see a child with a green wristband, you stop them. Only issue is that there is no child with a green wristband until the fourth time you play the game. That means you just lose three times before unlocking the lore secret. And when you finally do, you just walk a short distance and die. Kinda lame. Duck Pond, the first good game. You pick three ducks and try to get a high score. Most are 100, but some are worth more. It's simple and it only gets you points, but it's pretty fun, especially for one of the first mini games you'll play. Candy Cadet, this is similar to Ball Pit Tower and Prize King where you probably are gonna lose most of the time. Press a button and maybe Candy Cadet will tell you a story. I do love the stories though, and Candy Cadet is an amazing character. Lemonade Clown, the goal is to scare all the kids when they get close to you. If you really go to get all the kids, this one will be extremely difficult and can take quite a while. Pretty simple, but really fun. Fruit Punch Clown. This game is exactly the same. The only reason this is ahead is because you get more points. Plus, his voice is just hilarious to me. Fruit Punch for everyone. Ladder Tower. Press the button when the arrow is green to help Lefty cross. If Lefty falls, he dies. It's alright. There are better games that use to stop the arrow gameplay and better games that kill Lefty. Midnight Motorist. If we ignore the lore secret and just focus on this as a mini game, it's pretty fun. You're a little man in a little car driving on a highway. The more cars you avoid, the faster you go. And the faster you go, the harder it gets to avoid cars. Hitting a car slows you down all the way and that's no fun. You gain points based on how long you can drive at your top speed. It's fast paced, challenging, and super fun. Discount Ball Pit. Press the arrow at the right time so Helpy jumps in the box. Press at the wrong time and Helpy dies. The sound effect mixed with the awkward silence just makes this so amazing. Deluxe Ball Pit. Same game, except the ball pit is bigger. And there's a moving trampoline that will bounce Helpy to his death if he lands on it. It's more challenging than the discount one and makes for one of the best mini games. Fruity Maze. Fruity Maze is a Pac-Man style game where a little girl goes around collecting fruit. Collect all the fruit before time runs out to win. There are power-ups such as a lightning bolt which lets you run faster, a magnet to attract fruit, and this purple gummy thing that lets you walk through walls. This is probably the most challenging minigame out of all of them. And the fact you have to beat it like three times for the lore secret makes it even harder. Speaking of the lore secret, it's pretty terrifying. The girl trails bloody footprints, the music slows down, there's dead dogs and creepy bunnies. And when you're low on time, there's a loud car horn. Creepy. This is definitely the best out of all the Lore Keeper games. Gravity Vortex. Gravity Vortex is a harder version of riding rockets where you shoot at BBs who are also shooting at you. When these BBs die, sometimes the heads of BBs will come shooting bullets at you. Sometimes a giant JJ shows up, and when they're killed, three BBs come out. You also shoot three bullets now instead of one. I also love how when you lose, help it gets launched from the ride. Really fun, but I do prefer riding rockets. You play as Helpy in a rocket shooting at pizzas. While Gravity Vortex is way more difficult and chaotic, I think the pizzas are kind of a more fun obstacle. Once a pizza is destroyed, the slices will launch in all directions, meaning you have to avoid those or shoot them for extra points. There are also giant pizzas that will shoot pepperonis at you, and when those are destroyed, they turn into three regular pizzas that you have to deal with. I probably like riding rockets since I suck at Gravity Vortex, but I think this game is chaotic fun. Carnival Hoops, my favorite minigame. 
press the button when the arrow is in the green to make a shot. Sounds pretty simple and similar to Ladder Tower. The difference is getting 20 shots gets you a 5,000 point bonus. And the time limit is so strict if you miss one, it's basically over. This makes it a fast paced exciting game that keeps you coming back and playing to hit that bonus. That, mixed with the sound effects and some of the best music in the game, makes this, in my opinion, the best minigame in FNAF 6. Actually, I lied. Can't be the best because Luffy doesn't die in this one.